on follow and along with me is the director of the movie Happy Bhag Jayegi Mudassar Aziz so hi Mudassar hello the trailer was out what all are the reviews that you got for the trailer first of all well uh, to be honest i i have gotten reactions which which have left me quite uh, sort of dumbfounded i have i have uh, i was expecting it to to be received well yes but that it would be received this well that i would start getting calls from people from within the industry actors colleagues uh was was very very encouraging and i'm so happy that people have have enjoyed it because it's been it's 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 the sort of film uh it's the sort of genre not attempted before which just uh, you know makes a director very happy when it gets communicated the way it it has gotten communicated okay now but tell us something funny that somebody told you about the movie or something that you remember like are se mujhe ye bola tha trailer dekhkar trailer dekhkar hmm. uh well uh the the, the thing is that uh, you know one 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 very uh, enthusiastic member of the press who i was doing in- interviews with said ki aapko ye line kaise sochi ki gandhi ji law aur mein and you know your protagonist says ki adjust kar lo so uh, i i felt really happy that nuances in the dialogue were being picked up by people yes. uh, that that they were uh, that they were not seeing them as punch lines but they were seeing them as you know parts of the integral story and that they were well thought out because that was that was the intention behind it and i think the sweetest reaction that i got to the trailer was again from a member of the press who told me uh, who asked me what i was working on next and i said that i had these couple of scripts that i was working on which were ready and she said to me very sweetly she said sir wo dono side mein rakh dijiye jis pe aap kaam kar rahe hain aapko happy to banani padegi jaldi yeah so i was so so okay first of all how did the concept come to you know of a runaway bride and you know of she landing in pakistan how did it all happen for you well uh uh it's it's a very interesting and a very unique uh, story uh, behind the story of this film i was researching for another script and i was in punjab in those days and uh, i used to finish my days research and come back pretty tired so my only form of entertainment was ki thodi der ke liye tv on kiya dekh liya room hotel room ka tv on kar liya dekh liya aur aur raj kapoor sahab ki hina aa rahi thi aur maine aisa to nahi hai ki pehli baar wo film dekh raha tha maine 10 12 wo film pehle dekh chuka tha Uh, मगर uh, उस रात को uh, मैंने ये सोचा कि uh, राज साहब ने इतना खूबसूरत सा एक सोशियो पोलिटिकल लव सागा uh, हिना जो उन्होंने बनाई थी uh, उसको देख करके मुझे ये लगा कि यार ये दोनों मुल्कों के बीच की जो स्ट्रेन रिलेशनशिप है uh, उसके बारे में कभी किसी ने कॉमिक टेक क्यों नहीं लिया यू नो वाई एज नो बडी लुक टेट दिस विदेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर एंड आई गेस दैट वॉज दैट वॉज द सीड आई रिमेंबर दैट टू बी द the 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 one thought that that got me ticking about the idea of of writing a cross border comedy which is what people are now calling it almost like as if it's a new genre in, yeah, itself, in itself you know and it happens all the time it's it's funny that that in hollywood you you have dozens and tons of films uh, about their relationship with mexico because you know they they are a neighboring country or their relationship with canada so so when you share borders with a country and you have a and you have a neighbor who's quirky usually uh, usually it should call for a lot of content yes. you know but uh, but we've had strained strained sort of relationships all along and it's uh, you know it's been 70 years i guess i guess our job is fiction so we're not responsible for the political situation that exists between both countries there are some really able minds working on that and i'm sure they can solve that but our job as storytellers is to try and find uh, try and find uh, an element of of nicety in everything everything yes you know? okay your first movie dula mil gaya that's right was also had you know element of comedy to it yes so do you keep is there a conscious you know effort from you to keep your movies comic or do you have an inclination towards comedy i think comedy comes a little naturally uh, but having mm-hmm. said that uh, i i i when i you know when i first joined the film industry about about 10 11 years ago now Uh, I faced very stiff opposition from a middle class family that I belong to, you know. So, so it was it. It's such a deep rooted idea in my head that I that I land up writing stories and and writing films that I can enjoy with my parents, yeah. you know. That I uh, that I'd like to entertain families with, uh, and uh, I think it's a genre that I find myself at least right now most comfortable in. Comfortable in. Uh, which is why which is why I think Happy has that that sort of a feel, you know, where where you can take everybody. Whether it's your friends or your family to watch a film like that because it's just got that sort of a feel. So, so yeah, that's why I think I'd I'd much rather if you gave me the option, though it's though it's tougher, 
comedy is tougher than uh, than than doing an emotional yeah, film. Yes. But uh, I'd still feel that uh, if given an option, uh, I'd like to I'd like to go with the opportunity of making people laugh as opposed okay. to. Okay, but so you wouldn't do an Arnold comedy? Never. No. Never. I have. I that have, coming from a director is really different. Yes, I I have. Uh, and please uh, don't don't take this in any other way. I have uh, a lot of respect for somebody who can write that genre, because I'll tell you why. Because it's not easy. Trust me, writing any kind of comedy is not easy, and it's very easy to point fingers at somebody who may have written an adult have written, yes. comedy. But even that requires a certain amount of skill, a certain amount of of uh, you know uh, uniqueness to writing, to to make people laugh. I mean, laugh, yes. it's all it's all easy to point jo- uh, fingers at people, but everyone enjoys a non veg joke on their WhatsApp, don't they? Yes. So, but but yes, why I say no is because I'm incapable of doing that. I'm not I'm not good at it. And hence, I don't see myself ever ever doing doing it. an adult okay. comedy. Okay, Dula Milgia came long back, and it was really nice. Why did we? Why did you go missing from the industry altogether? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a question I've answered a few times now. Uh, see, uh, you know, uh, well, Dula Milgia, you know, you have to be real to yourself, and you have to be honest. Dula Milgia took four years in the making, and unfortunately, it aged over the process of time. uh and uh, uh you know it uh, you have to you have to sort of get back on the drawing board and you have to rework yourself come back with something that's bigger better yeah, yes. uh, you know come back with something that's going to get you more audience reach and this time around come back with people who can provide your film or your creativity with a certain bandwidth where most people can watch it can watch uh yeah. i get a lot of messages and a lot of phone calls from people across the world who watch dulan and leon dvd and say quirky fun you know we had great yes. fun watching it exactly that's but, what i'm saying but in spite of which in spite of which uh, uh, you know it it's four years in the making did not let it do, do too well at the box office and uh, which is why i said you know fine you know let's let's get down to the drawing board write something which is radically different and uh, make make a genuine honest attempt to entertain the audiences as much as we could so you think uh, happy bhag jai is a very good comeback like this was would it be the best comeback for you Well, uh, you know, these are these are strong words. Come back, etc. Uh, these are these are strong words. Should not be used lightly. Uh, I'm I've made a simple film, and uh, today I stand here feeling very happy that uh, that it is members of the press like yourself, uh, you know, film industry people, people from other uh, you know quarters of work who have gotten back to me with the kind of reaction and happy trailer that they have. सो आई जस्ट थिंक दैट एक एक सिंपल सी बात होती है ना किसी राइटर की जिंदगी में कि वो अपना पैगाम ज़्यादातर लोगों तक पहुँचाना चाहिए यू नो तो मैं इस बात से इस वक्त बेहद खुश हूँ कि मेरा पैगाम ज़्यादातर लोगों तक पहुँच रहा है लोग उस चीज़ को उस तरह रिसीव कर रहे हैं एंड आई मीन दैट फॉर मी इन इट सेल्फ इज अ स्मॉल विक्ट्री एंड आई लाइक नाउ द पीपल टू इन्जॉय दिस फिल्म इन द थिएटर्स इट्स द ओनली फिल्म इन दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉनर दैट दैट in that month in that period of time uh, and i'm sure that that people will come in with a lot of positivity to watch the film and will be thoroughly entertained what next for you because the happy bhag jayenge trailer looks awesome and you know it's like a look forward to yeah. so what next will we see you get into well there like i said there are a couple of scripts that one has worked on and uh, you know which one is uh, which which one wants to uh, of course happy is sort of been exhausting the journey has been exhausting um i've uh, will take a few days break yeah and, that and and then get <laughs> then get back then get back and and come back with uh, one out one out of the two scripts but like i said that that very sweet girl who spoke to me on the phone said sir sab cheez side mein rakh dijiye aapko happy to banani padegi <laughs> so so i hope something like that happens soon enough but it won't be a longer break like you took for oh yes no it won't it won't it yes. won't yes absolutely absolutely okay uh, why should people watch happy bhag jayegi uh Well, if if I have to sum this up for you in one line, uh, you know, we we have to be able to learn to laugh at those things which are harsh realities of our life. You know, uh, we have to be able to you know go out there and feel for people today, and especially in today's times, where humanity on the whole is challenged everywhere in the world. you know there's not one country that that can say for itself today that it does not suffer uh, you know the atrocities of some kind or another you know and and living in this kind of a world where a film comes along 
which reminds us that people either side of the border are people. You know, they laugh, they giggle, they make mistakes and each, each one of them has a heart. You know, uh, that's, that's the fulfilling idea that Happy Bhav Jai leaves you with. So, inshallah, that's, that, that to me is the strongest reason in, in times like these where we live to watch a film like Happy Bhav Jai. Yes, absolutely. All the best for the Thank movie. you. Thank you so thank much. You.